an anthology of readings of Almighty God's words. The Ten Administrative Decrees That Must Be Obeyed by God's Chosen People in the Age of Kingdom. One, man should not magnify himself, nor exalt himself. He should worship and exalt God. Two, you should do anything that is beneficial to God's work and nothing that is detrimental to the benefits of God's work. You should defend God's name, God's testimony, and God's work. 3. The money, material objects, and all property in God's household are the offerings that should be given by man. These offerings may be enjoyed by none but the priest and God, for the offerings of man are for the enjoyment of God. God only shares these offerings with the priest and no one else is qualified or entitled to enjoy any part of them. All of man's offerings, including money and things that can be enjoyed materially, are given to God, not to man. And so these things should not be enjoyed by man. If man were to enjoy them, then he would be stealing offerings. Anyone who does this is a Judas, for in addition to being a traitor, Judas also helped himself to what was put in the money bag. 4. Man has corrupt disposition, and moreover, he is possessed of emotions. As such, it is absolutely prohibited for two members of the opposite sex to work together when serving God. Any who are discovered doing so will be expelled without exception, and no one is exempt. 5. You shall not pass judgment on God, nor casually discuss matters related to God. You should do as man ought to do, and speak as man ought to speak and must not overstep your limits nor transgress your boundaries. Guard your own tongue and be careful of your own footsteps. All this will prevent you from doing anything that offends God's disposition. 6. You should do that which ought to be done by man and carry out your obligations and fulfill your responsibilities and hold to your duty. Since you believe in God, you should make your contribution to God's work. If you do not, then you are unfit to eat and drink the words of God and are unfit to live in God's household. 7. In work and matters of the church, Apart from obeying God, in everything you should follow the instructions of the man who is used by the Holy Spirit. Even the slightest infraction is unacceptable. You must be absolute in your compliance and must not analyze right or wrong. What's right or wrong has nothing to do with you. You must only concern yourself with total obedience. 8. People who believe in God should obey God and worship Him. You should not exalt or look up to any person. You ought not to give first place to God, second place to the people you look up to, and third place to yourself. No person should hold a place in your heart, and you should not consider people, particularly those you venerate, to be on a par with God, to be His equal. 
This is intolerable to God. 9. Your thoughts ought to be of the work of the church. You should put aside the prospects of your own flesh. Be decisive about family matters. Wholeheartedly devote yourself to the work of God and put God's work first and your own life second. This is the decency of a saint. 10. Kin who are not of the faith, your children, your husband or wife, your sisters or your parents, and so on, should not be forced into the church. God's household is not short of members, and there is no need to make up its numbers with people who have no use. All those who do not believe gladly must not be led into the church. This decree is directed at all people. In this matter, you should check, monitor, and remind each other, and no one may violate it. Even when kin who are not of the faith do reluctantly enter the church, they must not be issued books or given a new name. Such people are not of God's household and their entry into the church must be put a stop to by any means necessary. If trouble is brought upon the church due to the invasion of demons, then you yourself will be expelled or will have restrictions placed upon you. In short, everyone has a responsibility toward this matter, but you should also not be reckless or use it to settle personal scores.